Well, even if it was for just a few weeks, the eyes of the world were on Jacksonville, though it was more for is the RNC really going to happen? Trying to put a convention together in months when it normally takes years was a tall task to take on. But in high hopes that it may have been pulled off, many have now been left in the dust after its cancellation. And we have team coverage for you tonight, starting with On Your Side's Ken and Merrill. And Ken, you spoke with the City Council President about this this afternoon. That's correct, Anthony. I'm standing outside Daly's Place, one of the outdoor venues of this event had happened, but as you said, it's canceled. I spoke with City Council, Brett, Tom, City Council President Tommy Huzuri, who says that in the aftermath of the can cancellation, there are no real winners. He says it just was not the right time. The health of this community was at risk. Big and bold, and we'll be ready. It was a big, bold effort. Mayor Lenny Curry and the RNC host committee believe they could have accomplished it. They were trying to do what most convention cities and even the Super Bowl committees uh, had taken two years to prepare for. They were asking us to do that in less than 40 days. City Council President Tommy Huzuri says the decision to cancel the RNC event in Jacksonville was the right decision. The safety and the health of the community was at risk and remained at risk up until uh, we withdrew the bill today. The bill approving the event was scheduled for discussion on Friday and an emergency vote on Tuesday. Hazuri says it was in trouble because of the spike in COVID-19 cases. The coronavirus was a big issue uh, and many people were concerned. Pastor Gary Williams and other civic leaders expressed that concern to Mayor Lenny Curry before the decision to cancel was made. I just didn't think personally that the risk was worth the reward. Williams says he knows this will have an impact on businesses, but the overriding concern is public health in this pandemic. It's, it's affecting everyone. This is, you know, I'm preaching the empty seat. And for those who oppose the RNC event, Williams says it is not a time of celebration. Now, I spoke with Azuri, and Azuri said that the, uh, the city council can now focus on the, the business before city council. That is the budget, of course, his social commitment to social justice, uh, as well as the coronavirus. I also asked him if the city was on the hook for any of the costs that are associated with the RNC, and he told me tonight it is not.